I just got back from Detroit, Michigan, where I went to Rapid TCT, an industry-level additive manufacturing conference, and I got to go to Polar Filament and make filament. Let me show you what I did. So I left on Sunday and got in on Sunday night, and I was staying at the Motor City Casino Hotel. There was a casino in my hotel, and I was too tired. And so I said, I'll, I'll gamble tomorrow. So the next morning, Mitch of Polar Filaments picked me up and he took me to their facility. Now I would love to show you a lot of video that I took while I was in there, but they have sensitive information with other customers. And so I think I could just take a few photos, but I can show you one thing that we did though, is I got to make 3d printer filament. Now we were making a special filament that day. They were making PHA and PHA is unlike PLA, truly biodegradable. And so you can throw it out in your backyard, backyard and it will completely biodegrade. You can throw it in water and it'll turn into fish food. It's really exciting stuff. So I got trained on how to use the equipment by Z and then he just let me at it and he said, you're up next. And so when the filament spool got full, I had to follow the steps to take it off tie it off so I didn't let go of the end, then put it down and start the new spool with a bunch of steps to make sure everything starts off right. And I did it right and I was hugely relieved. And then I got to go over and it automatically prints out a sticker. And that sticker has a QR code where you can look at everything about how that filament was produced and the tolerances. And it also says who the filament was made by. And it said Courtney on there. They fixed it up so that it showed me. Um, I then got to do what I think was my favorite part of the day was I put desiccant and put it in a bag. And then I went over to this vacuum sealer thing. I've never used a big one like this before. It was so much fun. So that was just a lot of fun. We did a live stream where we talked about that for a while. And then at the end of that, we went up to the front, the storefront for Polar Filament. And we hung out with people who stopped in. And I uh, just talked about filament and all kinds of great stuff. And uh, then we went to dinner and I went back to my hotel and I was going to go gamble, but I was too tired again. So I went to sleep and then the next morning was Rapid TCT. Tuesday was the start of Rapid TCT. Now this is an industry level additive manufacturing conference. So there's 3D printing and a lot more. And they're really, it's just bigger and if you've ever been to a RepRap festival, there's a lot of companies that are there, uh, but we're consumer grade. This is a whole different thing. And as you'll see, as I'm going into this venue, this is really big and they have over 400 exhibitors, I think. In fact, they had an app with all of the different vendor locations so that you could try to find a vendor on the floor because I got lost and I knew, I thought I knew where some of these companies were. So I had a lot of time, walk, a lot of fun walking around one thing with these industry events is that you're going to definitely see huge 3d printed things there'll be 3d printed chairs or like these 3d printed orange tables that they had candy sitting on the top of them and they even sometimes will have 3d printing robot arms printing in concrete or clay here's one that was printing uh, i'm not sure what part it was but it was printing something really interesting looking and the layer lines on these are always amazing they're like fatter than your finger just it's so cool I got to hang out with some of our 3D printing friends, like Joel telling the 3D printing nerd, Nero 3D, Uncle Jesse, the 3D printing doctor, Alan Wren from Hack Club, who I got to meet for the first time. Hack Club is super cool. Gabrielle from Lizard Logo Studios, and a bunch of other people that I didn't have a chance to get a photo with, but it's so much fun to meet people here. Now, one of the things you might notice if you're looking at all of these exhibits behind me, is that these companies are bringing a lot of money to the table. And that's the real difference between consumer and industry. This is some serious business here. I love meeting people and I am always excited to meet someone new. So I met the guys from Beehive 3D in Brazil. I love Brazil. I used to travel to Brazil and do work and I was so excited. And I got to tell them my like six words in Portuguese that I knew and they had the kindest things to say about filament stories. So I'm really excited to meet you guys. Oh, what, we gotta hook up some filament. Yeah, let's get in touch. The Form Labs booth had an activity going on that was very loud a lot of the event. So they had Joel telling using a 3D printed hammer and he was seeing how fast he could nail in 
three nails. And then anyone who could beat that time was up for a 3D printed, a really nice 3D printed model that they had. And when Joel went and I missed his video, he was, he just bam, bam, bam. He got it in seven and a half seconds or so. No one could come close. And I filmed so many people hoping that somebody would get close to his time. And finally I gave up and later people figured out how to beat his time. But Joel really knows how to hammer a nail. I am here at the FL Sun booth and I'm here with my friend Cinda. Now I want to know, can you tell me about this brand new FL Sun printer? Yeah, hello. Hello everyone, this is Cinda from Fulsum. Uh, this is our new version, S1 Pro. Currently the fastest 3D printer in the market. It's so fast. Yeah. So, okay, come up here. I want to show you something. So you can see that it's moving fast here. I don't know if you can tell, it's not making, it's making almost no noise. It's making noise, but it's so quiet. But then I wanna show you one more thing. I'm gonna open up the top here. This is a 0 0.4 millimeter nozzle. I want you to look at how fast that spool is moving. That's how much filament it's laying down. That's crazy. So is this available for purchase now? Yeah, currently our S1 Pro version is available on our website. So you can type www.fulsun3d.com and you can purchase uh, S1 Pro. Thank you so much. Yeah, great. Uh, can I also mention the yeah. uh, maximum speed here is 1200. So it's currently the fastest one. 1200 millimeters per second. And, and I know that we were talking a little bit and we were saying that there are other printers that you all compared this to slicing times, print times. And it's just so, it's not just a little bit faster. It's a lot faster. Yeah. It's exciting. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Cinda. I want to show you this. I am at the i3 Makerspace in Detroit. Now, if you've never been to a Makerspace, this is such an exciting place. This is the workshop you always wanted, but can never afford it because of the huge amount of materials and machines that are in here. There are different areas, like this is the woodworking area. And you can come here and it's a membership per month. And you can donate money, you can donate materials, but they have all of these tools that you never, do. look Look at the CNC machine. This is amazing. This is a CNC machine that I want. And I have no need, for, I gotta back out, hold on. I do not need a CNC machine this big, but isn't it glorious? And they have all of the sawdust that's being collected. This is the pottery area. So you see the kilns? We've got one kiln that's running right now. We've got a smaller little kiln. And we have tumblers here. Oh, look, this is to polish up all sorts of things to make jewelry in here. You're letting things air dry. Now, something that you can also see here as in each of these spaces, there is something called a cash box. And that is if you like to donate in addition to this particular area because you used materials or you just want to help out, you can do so. Now this here is the machine shop area. These machines are old. They are serious machines that, look at that for saw. Holy moly, I'm backing out again. That is unbelievable. Here's a bridge port. Wow, look at that bridge port. Okay, this is like, I'm in dreamland here. This is amazing. Not, let's not go with what's wrong. And there are two of them here. See if you can tell the one with the Pacific. What's different about that bicycle? And then there's this one here. Huh. Let's see, what about tires that are that big on a bicycle? And this is something that is just, a makerspace doesn't have to be 3D printing, right? And there are even more bicycles here. And, oh, this is interesting. This is a pew. Okay, check this out. This is a pew, and they're gonna put these axle with wheels underneath it, and they're gonna put pedals, and so that the person on the left pedals, and it turns, the person on the right pedals, and it turns both pedals, and it goes both places. It looks like more bicycle Frankenstein is on the way. What is this? This is a 
cutter. Okay, can it look what it can cut through? Holy smokes. What? I want to I want a maker space. There's a TIG welder talking about MIG welder. So this looks like it's some welding land. I I I can't believe all this. This is you got a dry cut saw. Oh, this is a sheet metal cutter. I mean, they have so much stuff here and it's just packed. It's just packed in. Wednesday, I had very little time because I could only stay half a day. I had family coming to town and I needed to get back home. So I got over to the event and ran right across the street to get some Starbucks and ended up having a strange adventure. Uh, while our coffee suddenly slowed down and just weren't showing up one time, a lady walked in with a little dog, a black and white dog, and she said, is this anyone's dog? And she's holding it doesn't have a leash on it. Anyway, he's out. This little cute fluffy dog is out in the middle of traffic. This is downtown fast moving traffic and was right in the middle of the lanes and she grabbed it and brought it in. No one is from the Starbucks had heard of it. We walked around the buildings to try to find anyone. If it was like that lived there, nobody knew anything. And so she fortunately was able to call the Humane Society and they said, we can come in the next 24 to 72 hours and pick him up. And she said, I'm at a conference, I'm leaving in three hours. And I said, I'm leaving in an hour and a half. And so she took him to the shelter. But in the meantime, Rob from Vision Minor and I kept ourselves occupied by making crazy photos of each other. And I got to finally see the people at Amolin. And hello, hello. It is so nice to meet you. It's so nice to meet you. Hello. Okay, wait, hold it. Is it Amolin or Amolin? Just ask that. Yeah. Amolin. It's Amolin. Okay, this is good because I've said Amolin all the time, so now I can go back and say I learned something that it, the pronunciation is Amolin. Yeah. Yeah. So wait, you have 200, 200 different filaments you're selling right now? Yes, and yeah. over, over 300. Over 300. 300 colors. Over 300 colors. Oh, keychains. Keychain, these are the hard samples. So you can see our uh, famous S series. S for silk, yep. And triple colors. The triple, oh, you have this many triple colors. Yes. Uh, I, I, are all of them available on US Amazon, do you think? Yes. Yeah, okay. Because, so sometimes when I go to US Amazon, there it says these filament, and I will look and I might find some of your filament and then it shows like 15 on that particular page. But that's not all the filament you're selling. That's just within that category, right? Exactly. Yeah. And so definitely, if you find some, I like to click on, go to the Amolin store. Go to the Amolin store, and then you will be able to see all of the different kinds that you sell. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so they got some really exciting stuff coming out, and they had a sample here of this transparent... PLA and it's like clear. Base PLA is not clear guys. This is exciting. So I can't wait to see it. On the way to the airport, I was talking to my Uber driver and we were talking about eight mile. And I said, I didn't realize the significance of eight mile because of where it was in Detroit and the significance with Eminem. And he was like, wait a minute, we have to take a side track. And so he took me on a little trek and he showed me the restaurant Mom Spaghetti and how it's based off his mother's recipe of spaghetti, I think, and how he even goes down there and picks up food from time to time. Anyway, I thought that was really cool of my Uber driver to take me on a quick tour on the way to the airport. I am at the Detroit airport and I am right near this amazing fountain that has the little jumping water. It's so cool. But I'm, I'm only was able to stay for half of the time at Rapid TCT and that's because we have family coming home to visit us and I can't wait to get there. But I got some gummy cola for my children. They're gonna love it. I enjoyed seeing and meeting everyone that was there and enjoy seeing friends that I've met at other events and got to see them again. It's always fun and this was a really cool event. All right, see you next time guys. And one last thing to do for me, I gotta get the big league chew going so my ears don't pop on the plane. Love it.